Hi everyone, welcome to the third part of AK Picker View and in this part we'll be adding buttons to manipulate AK Picker View. So let's get back where we left off. First we'll go to Mando Storyboard to add something more on it. So let's search for UI View and I'm just gonna add it like here. Okay. Make it a little bit bigger than our AK Picker View and uh, rest AK Picker View here and um, just make it smaller you know to left the space for the button all right and then we're gonna put this and we're gonna put AK picker view in this view here so you can see the layer right here so this one is the view and then there's AK picker view inside it and of course, don't forget to deal with the constraint stuff. So I'm just going to click the whole view controller, clear all the constraints and add them again. After that, let's make the outlet connection. So click on the assistant editor and I'm just going to drag this view in maybe around here. And I'm going to call it picker view container connect. And let's close this one. And now we can add button. Oh, first, just make this one transparent. Uh, no color here. All right, so just search for a button. And I just right here, just add them in this corner. I'm just gonna delete the label button. And next, I'm gonna add the image. So just say this one is the next one. So next BT and here we go. I'm gonna resize this one to be just 20 by 20. And then let's drag it back to where it was. Okay, I'm just gonna copy and paste this one to the other side. All right, and uh, let's just change the image from next to previous. And that's it. That's the assets come in when the you know go to button next and previous. Right, let's go back to main storyboard to make some outlet connection for the button. So okay, this one control drag this and uh, this is the next button, so I'm just gonna say next BT and next one is the previous one. Let's so just put it up previous button and next we are going to add action connection not an outlet anymore so I'm just gonna go scroll down to the end and uh, control drag as always here but instead of outlet just change to action so I'm just gonna name it previous button action and this one for the next one so do the same don't forget to change to action and then just name it next button action. And that's it, we're done with the preparation. So just close the assistant editor and then go to view controller. Let's implement the function for the action first. So when the previous button is clicked, so the our AK pick view view just you know fall back in one. So I'm just gonna say self dot ak pick view, then we're gonna select the item then of course it's going to be the current one right selected item this is this current one gonna minus one so we go to the left and with animation as well so animated true oh actually it's not selected item it just select item All right i'm just gonna copy this line and then do the same with for the next button action so i'm just gonna change minus to plus so it go to the right but what happened if we stay at the very first one and we click previous button and we go to minus one and it's gonna boom crash your application so we have to disable it when it comes to the first and the last one so previous button dot is hidden equal to item equal equal to zero or not then true if not then false next button dot is hidden 
equal to item equal equal to the last one in uh, country item or not and if yes then it's true then if not then it's false so basically here it's just the if else statement saying that if the item is zero then we are going to hide the previous button and if it's not then we're just going to show the previous button and likewise for the next button if the item is the last one in the country item then we are going to hide the next one so you cannot go further then if it's not then the next button is functional and that's it let's run to see the application all right here we go we have our button so you just try this one to click on it perfectly working and uh, if we reach the end of course the button will be disappeared and uh, if we go to the very first one we can scroll as well yes and uh, right here so the button previous button will be gone and that's it guys this is the end of the third part and in the next one we'll be adding some animation and some effect which is gonna make your application look so well designed all right as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one